In this video, we will practice calculating probability using a Venn diagram. We will do the probability of C and B, the probability of C or B. Uh, we might do the probability of C given B, the probability of C and not B, all that kind of good stuff. So, let's see, what is this problem about? C. Uh, set C, that's people that are taking chorus. Event B represents taking band. So we have chorus people and band people. How many students are taking chorus? Please be careful. A common mistake is to say 88 because it's over here clearly in this C section. Ha, <laughs> C section. Um, but circle C is bigger than the 88. This whole thing is circle C. That includes both of these numbers represent uh, people that are taking course. So we have to add those up. So 88 plus 24. That's 112. Notice, sometimes we have a probability and we do target over total. So maybe I would have 112 divided by the total of 2,026. Sometimes we just write a single number. How do I know when to do a fraction and when to just have a number? Well, this whole uh, target over total business, uh, that's just for probability. Uh, so this P right here, for example, that stands for probability. That's when I will do target over total. Okay, but for problem number seven, it just said how many. That is not a probability. We write 112, that's it. We don't divide by anything. Common mistake. All right, um, explain the difference between the size of C and B and the probability of C and B. Well, I partially answered the question by uh, the way I said probability on that second one. All right, so the difference is the first one is just going to be a whole number. Uh, the second one is going to be a fraction or a decimal or, or a percent because the second one is probability. So here I've simply written up what I just said. The size of C and B is just a single number. The well, I meant to say the P in the second one stands for probability. This will be a fraction, decimal, or percent found by dividing target over total. So let's go ahead and, and do these. Uh, what is the size of C and B? Okay. Um, when we're doing an and problem, you can start by highlighting the first thing, all right? The first thing is C. So you can start by highlighting all of the numbers inside of C, okay? Um, you know what, maybe I should highlight them separately so I can do what comes next. So these are all of my C numbers. Now, when you're doing an and problem, you can start with the first one but then it's gonna, it's, we're going to narrow it down because of the second one. All right, so I can forget about the 205 and the, the 2026 uh, because it definitely has to be C. But it also has to be B. So which one of these numbers do I need to throw away because it has to be C and B? Well, I need to throw away the 88. All right, because I need only numbers that are C, yes, but also B. So the size of C and B is 24. On the other hand, the probability of C and B, that is target over total. Let's write that off to the side. Target over total. Okay. Uh, this 24 is the target. The total 
is going to be the number that I would get if I add all of these up. Sometimes they're nice enough to tell us up front. In this case, they did not do that. So I'm going to have to add the numbers up myself. OK, I'm adding these four numbers. So 88 plus 24 plus 205 plus 2,026. 2,343. Okay, because this is a fresh video, um, you know, I already did problems one through six on another video. I will show you one time how we convert fractions like this into a decimal, uh, well, a reduced fraction, and then a decimal, and then a percent. Uh, but then I'm not going to do that over and over again because I don't think that's what you need to see. I think you already know how to do that. So uh, if I turn this into a fraction, 24 over uh, 2,343, all right, if it can be reduced, the calculator will do that for me. So that's 8 over 781. Okay, I can turn that into a decimal. Uh, by hitting the toggle key. So that's 0 0.0102. Now if I move the decimal point twice, it's going to end up right here. So that's approximately 1.02%. All of these are valid answers for the probability. All right, moving on to problem number nine. Uh, this line over the top means not C or B. Or uh, if we want to speak in a more formal way, we could say the probability of neither C nor B. Okay, so you could say not C or B, or the probability of neither C nor B is kind of the, the fancier way of saying that. So anyway, let's go ahead and calculate it. Um, probability, so we're back to target over total. Okay, um, let's start by deciding, uh, like ignore the little line on the top. What is C or B? Okay, let's look at our little Venn diagram. C or B means all of C, all of B. All right, this is what C or B looks like. All right, or is not the overlap, it's all of both. Now, that's not what we wanted though. They didn't just say find C or B. They actually did say find not C or B. All right, the complement of this. So what number do you see that's everything except for this. So th this is not the number that we want. We really want this number out here. Okay? We want numbers that are not C or B. That's 2026. So that's going to be the target. So when we say target over total, um, not C or B is 2,026, okay, over a total of uh, 2,343. All right, and I'll trust that you could turn that into a reduced fraction, a decimal, and a percent. All right, how about problem number 10? Um, this means the probability of B given not C. All right, I love these given problems because they are so easy. Um, the not C part, that's going to be the new total. The B part, that's the target. Okay, so I'm about to do this target over total. Let's start with the given. Let's start with not C. Okay, let's highlight all of the numbers that are not C. That's 205 and 2026. 
That is the new total. You can forget about everything else. Cross them out. So what is that total? Okay, 2,026 plus 205. That's the new total, 2,231. Now what about the target? The target is B, um, but we're only going to look at the ones that we didn't cross out already. All right? What are the B numbers that we didn't already cross out? That'll be the target. Okay, so this right here. That's the target, 205, the B numbers that we didn't already cross out. And that's all there is to it. So for these last couple problems, we're going to use this little deck of cards that's shown across the top of the screen here. So as you can see, there are six black cards and four white cards. You draw one card from the deck. And uh, let's talk about some probabilities. So let's let event O be drawing a card with an odd number on it. Let's let event B be drawing a card with a, uh, well, drawing a black card. So O is an odd card, B is a black card. Are events O and B mutually exclusive or not? Remember that mutually exclusive means that the two groups do not overlap. In other words, is there a, a card that can be odd and black at the same time? If so, that would be overlapping. Well, look, here's a number that is odd and black. Here's a number that is odd and black. Here's a number that is odd and black. So, since you can be odd and black at the same time, um, this is not mutually exclusive. This is, uh, these would be overlapping events. So, just to repeat, these are not mutually exclusive since some cards are odd and black. Now, we're supposed to calculate the probability of O or B. Whenever we do probability, we're always doing target over total. So keep that in the back of your mind. Target over total. That's what probability is. Let's start with the total because that's the easiest thing. The total is just the total number of cards. We have six black cards and four white cards. That's a total of 10 cards. So the total is 10. Now, let's talk about the target. Let's just identify, uh, so we'll start with O, meaning odd. And let's indicate all of the odd cards. Okay, so um, this is an odd card, and this is an odd card, and this is an odd card. This is an odd card, this is an odd card, this is an odd card, this is an odd card. Now, the big difference between and and or. Regardless of whether or not this is and or whether it says or, we always start with that first letter and we mark everything that satisfies the first event. If it's going to be an AND problem, we have to narrow it down and get rid of some of these. If it's an OR problem, um, I always tell my students OR is more. And I go like this. See the word OR? And if I put an M in front of it and an E behind it, you see that OR is more. And that means when I move on to the second condition, the second event, so um, I highlighted O, um, but now I'm going to highlight B. B is all the black cards. And when you're doing OR, you just highlight more. You don't take away anything that you got from the first condition. You just add more. So in addition to the ones I already have, now I'm going to highlight um, all of the ones that are black. 
All right, so this one is black, and this one is black, and this one is black. That is funny, because it really looks like we have highlighted every single card. So um, this is a rare case when the target is 10. Everything I just highlighted, that's the target. And the total is also 10. So guess what that means? Target over total, 10 divided by 10, um, that's 1. That means that the probability, of course, is 100%. Okay, so which makes sense because uh, no matter what card you pick, it's going to be um, odd or black. There, there's no card here that's not odd or black. So you're guaranteed to win if someone was going to, if someone was going to pay you money, if you could pick out a card. If it's odd, they're, they're, they will give you money, or if it's black, they'll give you money. You're guaranteed to get money, hundred percent. All right, let's do the last question. All right, let me start over with my highlighting. Okay. Event E is drawing a card with an even number on it. Event W is drawing a white card. Are events E and W mutually exclusive? In other words, um, is there any overlap between these two events? Let's see. Um, the even cards, here are the even cards right here. Two, four, and six. None of these cards over here are even. And now here, here are the white cards. I'll highlight these in a different color. Okay, one, three, five, seven. Those are the white cards. Um, is there any overlap between these? No. There are no cards that are uh, both white and even. There are no even white cards. So these events are mutually exclusive because there are no cards that are even and white. So kabam, I just wrote down what I just said. Now let's calculate this final probability. We're supposed to find the probability of even or white. Okay, well, probability, of course, is going to be target over total. So let's set that up one more time. Target over total. All right, the total has not changed. There are 10 cards, so the total is going to be 10. Okay, now this is another or problem. Remember that or is more. So that means I'm going to start with the first condition. I'm going to highlight all of those. And then I'm going to keep on highlighting for the second condition. And I'm not going to take any away because or is more. Um, let's start with even ones. Let's highlight all of those. All right, all of these are even. Boom, boom. Ah, <laughs> those are not even. Um, that was a little brain malfunction there. Those are all white. We'll come back to that in a second. The even ones, two, four, six. All right, that's the first condition. Now I'm doing the second condition, which is white. All right, or is more, so I'm not going to take any of these away. I'm just going to keep adding more. So here come the white ones. Boom, 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 boom. So all of the ones I just highlighted are part of the target. How many of them are there? Let's see, there's four, five, six, seven. So that's why the target is seven. All right, there's seven targets out of a total of 10 cards. All right, of course, I could easily turn this into a decimal. Um, well, we don't need a calculator for that. Um, seven divided by 10, of course, is 0.7, which as a percent would be 70%. So all of these are valid forms of the probability. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.